Hi, Kyber Morn here with the World Builders Journal, Episode 9, questions 41 through 45. And uh, question 41, you must infiltrate an esteemed secret society in order to gain valuable information for your quest. Describe your character's disguise or alter ego. Are you successful? Um... Okay, my my real problem here is the are you successful portion. Uh, this is more like a player character thing. And you're telling them that they have to infiltrate the Court of the Owls, for instance. Or Hydra, or something of that nature. Um, describe your character's... Disguise or alter ego. That's a prompt to your players. And that's highly recommended that you do that. Are you successful? That's a role-playing thing. Um, I... I... I just don't see that portion of the question as useful in terms of role playing because that should be a role playing situation and once again you need to be able to interact with the world as a narrative device not use narrative to pretend that you interacted with the world if you are role playing um yeah I mean, there's consequences for infiltrating an esteemed secret society and failing. And that should play into further character development and plot development. <clears throat> Question 42. You've been struck by a curse that captures your greatest personality flaw in a physical deformity. How does the flaw manifest itself? This is interesting. This is interesting. Um, yeah, I, I would... I would definitely end a session on a cliffhanger. After, some, after the villain curses your one of your player characters that is willing at first, and after the session, uh, I would talk to that the player that I talked to prior that accepted it and then have that develop because what, what you want to do is you want every character and every player to have a unique aspect to your story and you want them to be involved in a three dimensional way. Cursing a willing participant uh, as a player, not, not a character, um, it is a way of developing this sort of flaw. Like, if one of your flaws is arrogance, say you develop a second mouth somewhere on your body that that just controls an emotional outburst of your character and with, with your character's normal voice... So if the if you're bartering for something and the merchant turns around and then your second voice goes like you're a sucker it like that that would be interesting and it could get you into some trouble and then you could be like no see I got cursed and this is the thing even though you may be thinking that like you should roll to control it or something and if you try to control it too much it might have adverse consequences. Okay. Like, what What if the mouth started to form from the mouth, and every time you resisted, uh, it grew until it became its own doppelganger of you. And that, that would be an interesting curse. Okay, so, question 43. If you could pass along three wisdoms to greener adventurers, what would they be? Uh, this seems like a role-playing thing. Like, if... 
Okay, so say you have to defend a city. Um, re remember in Game of Thrones, back when it was super awesome, and Tyrion had to defend the city? Now, imagine if Tyrion had three other young squires that ask for advice in that situation. What three pieces of advice would he give them? Um, you know, but your player characters would be like Tyrion and the, the other individuals involved in that. Or when the wildlings invaded the Night's Watch. Um, that same situation could arise. Um, uh, th think about elements like that when you come across questions like, if you could pass along three wisdoms to greener adventurers, what would those be? Uh, that's the way I would do it. Okay, um, 44. Create a campaign where everything is based on competition and death is the consequence of failure. Only the strongest and most cunning survive from the earliest age, and death is always right around the corner. How will your characters flourish or fight against this system? Once again, Amon Ket would be excellent for this as a base. Now, okay, th this is a world builder's journal. So it's like, if you're in the middle of this other campaign, it, like, if you're dealing with an alternate universe, and th this is part of that, and it's reaching into your own, that could be interesting. Um, okay, question 45. Exploring dungeon tunnels. You come across a lever and a sign that says, do not pull the lever, what do you do? This is a question for players. And really, is there... Are there more than two options here? Like, how is this involved in world building? Um, your players could also scratch out the do not. So it just says, pull the lever, and then walk off. And then that way somebody else pulls the lever. Uh, that's, that's kind of a jerk move there. All right. So that's question 45. Cameron one out.